Good morning. This morning our text is found in Joel chapter 2, verse 1, and it goes like this. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm in the holy mountains. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. For the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. You wouldn't believe what happened last night. At midnight, straight up, Ramon and I was both sound asleep in our bed and the smoke detector went off. Oh, I meant not just one, but all of them. So I got up and I searched the house and I searched the house and I found nothing, uh, no smoke, uh, no fire, no nothing. It did finally go off and so we went back to sleep. Ramona told me that at two o'clock, once again, it began to sound. The, the, the smoke alarm went off and I didn't hear it. But the Bible tells us about that. Two shall be sleeping, one taken, the other left behind. That's over in Luke 17, 34. Then again, at three o'clock, the same thing happened. The alarm went off. The smoke detector started just squealing, just as loud as it could. Everyone in the house, every smoke detector in the house was squealing all at once, just like it was at midnight that I heard. And, uh, I, once again, I searched, I looked to see what in the world could be causing this smoke detector to come off. I, I never found anything, but I, I uh, told Ramona, I went back to the bedroom and I told her I found nothing. And uh, I said, I, I just feel I need to go to my study and, and read God's word. So that's what I did. And with an urgency, I felt in my spirit that I need to bring this warning to you today. We've heard the words concerning the Lord's return most all of our lives. And uh, this day and time, it seems like most pastors, most preachers, and even some evangelists never mention the Lord's return. They never tell you that you need to be ready. But I'm here to tell you, I'm sounding the alarm. I feel the urgency that someone needs to hear this today. Matthew chapter 24, verses 6 uh, says, but of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but only the Father. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days of that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came and it took them all away. So you shall also the coming of the Son of Man. You know, the Lord's going to be returning just any any second. And yes, I do feel an urgency because it's not proclaimed. The Lord is going to return and he's going to return. I believe soon. We don't know the hour. We don't know the minute nor the second that we hear that alarm, that trumpet. 
Now, my question to you, are you ready? Are you ready? Have you placed your faith in Christ? Have you asked him for forgiveness of your sins? Have you turned from your sinful life and that you once lived? Or have you just stayed in your sins? Have you been washed in the blood of Jesus that makes you white as snow? If the trumpet sounds today, right now, would you be ready? If the Lord comes today, where will you spend eternity? Are you heaven bound or bound for eternal fire? You know, it's not my decision and it it's no one's decision except for yours. You have to make that decision whether you're going to surrender your life to Christ or not. It's plain and simple. And there's only two ways. You're either going up or you're going down. It's that plain and simple. It's cut and dried. Romans 10 Verses 9 and 10 goes like this, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. And verse 13 says that for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Now I'm asking you, if the Lord comes back today, if the trumpet sounds, if the alarm is rang, are you ready? Which way are you going? Up or down? It's all your decision. No one can make that for you. No one can point a gun to your head and make you make that decision. That has to be a decision of your own. Either to believe or not to believe. It's that simple. It's cut and dried. It's your choice. Where will you spend eternity. Today is the day of salvation. Would you ask him into your heart today? Would you? If you don't know him, fall on your knees and cry out to the Lord. Ask for forgiveness. Turn from your sinful way. And follow Jesus. Follow Jesus. There is no other way to heaven except you follow Jesus. Well, I hope you got something out of this. If you find it worthy, I, I ask that you please share this. Someone needs to hear this today. I, I feel it in my heart. I love you. Better yet, Jesus loves you. He's the one that died for you. And we'll see you soon.